Hi, this is Jack Crooks from Money and Markets TV. Last week, the European Central Bank gave another gift to the region's banks, 530 billion euros in cheap three-year loans. That's on top of 489 billion euros lent out a little over two months ago. One goal of the program was to increase liquidity for the Eurozone banks and eliminate the need for them to raise capital this year. The long-term refinancing operations were also meant to encourage the banks to buy the sovereign debts of struggling peripheral nations, such as Greece, Portugal, and Spain, among others. And the strategy seems to be working in those cases. The LTROs are boosting sentiment among European investors, as measured by the German stock market in its benchmark index, the DAX, D-A-X. That's great if you're an equity investor with a short-term trading view. But the central bank strategy was also intended to trigger commercial lending and give a boost to the real economy. And in that sense, it's a failure. Eurozone banks are putting the money back into the European Central Bank for safekeeping, rather than increasing loans to individuals and businesses. In fact, overnight deposits soared to a record 777 billion euros after the second LTRO, up from 475 billion a day earlier. The banks are also starting to shy away from the debt of peripheral nations, and who could blame them? Why commit more money to such risky assets? I believe this trend will continue, and the long-term refinancing operations will actually end up adding more systemic risk to the system. That's because the banks will eventually need to repay the loans to the European Central Bank. And if economic growth in the Eurozone remains stagnant, it will be increasingly difficult for the banks to generate profits in order to pay off their own debts. This, in turn, will put even more pressure on the government bonds of the weakest nations in the monetary union. The safe money will flow to the debt markets of the stronger countries like Germany and Netherlands, further segregating the Eurozone into two tiers, the haves and the have-nots, and putting more strain on the structure of the system. In the currency markets, the Euro has generally tended, trended higher against the dollar over the past two months. And that uptrend could continue for a while if investors remain optimistic about the LTRO. But eventually, it will become clear that any growth created by the programs is being sucked up by Germany and the other core countries, and the euro will begin to reflect the ugly fundamentals facing the eurozone as a whole. I'm Jack Crooks from Money Markets TV. Thanks for watching.